Hi there, welcome back to another Crypto Day video. So today I'm doing another Crypto Passive Income 2020. This is actually episode 11. As always, links to all the previous episodes will be included in the description below. So um, you might have noticed that I've sort of like tidied up the slides, made them a little bit snazzier. So hopefully um, uh, you like the look and feel of those. But we've got a lot to cover today. So uh, let's jump straight into the first table, which as always is staking coins and masternodes. And before I jump into the figures, just want to say very, um, quick thank you and shout out to a guy called Jerry. He contacted me after the last update to say he had some metrics. Um, the exchange he bought them from wasn't um, trading them anymore and um, he didn't really want to sign up for a new exchange that was trading them. So uh, did I want them? So he sent them over to me. So thank you very much, Jerry. Uh, I've added those to the total here and they've been staking away for the last week or two. Now, uh, I've mentioned in previous videos that I'm looking to kind of get rid of some of these smaller cap coins and replace them with larger cap staking coins. And I've kind of just got to the point now where um, that's going uh, fully ahead. So I actually got rid of Helix over the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, Syndicate, I've been on, a, on an orphan chain. So I suddenly received a load more stakes than normal, started about two weeks ago, which normally means that you're on an orphan chain. And uh, there was a bit of confusion. The official Explorer was down. Um, there's no not much activity, nothing really in the Discord group, a little tiny bit in the Telegram group. Uh, so I bootstrapped the uh, wallet, uh, added some nodes that were um, added into the Telegram group. So I, I'm on a chain, I'm on a different chain completely to um, the one I was before. If this is the correct chain, it means I've been on an orphan chain since uh, I think probably the end of last year, so uh, December last year, sometime, something like that. Um, so I staked uh, 33 cents worth of Syndicate over the last two weeks. Uh, I, there's no guarantee I am on the correct chain. Um, if I am and uh, the exchanges or an exchange opens up for trading, I will be getting rid of these hopefully in the next kind of couple of weeks. Um, it's just too much of a hassle um, with these kind of tiny cap coins uh, messing about on the wrong chains and stuff like that. So I will be getting rid of Syndicate. I'm also looking to get rid of Metrics. Uh, Metrics had a little bit of a pump over the last uh, week or so. And it went just back above the one Satoshi mark, which is good. So it's available for trading on some exchanges that it really wasn't before. Um, so um, I will be getting rid of Syndicate, I will be getting rid of Metrics, uh, I've got rid of Helix um, and I will be getting rid of uh, Pivx as well. Um, and then I'll be replacing those basically, I will be keeping hold of Neo. I'll be keeping hold of Icon and then I'll be adding um, a couple of other large cap coins when staking becomes available. So Cardano when the main net goes live, uh, which I believe is uh, about a month or two away now, so not too long for that. So that will be added to the list and Ethereum obviously once Ethereum uh, 2.0 Point zero uh, comes out and you can stake Ethereum that will be added to this list and I'll be removing my uh, interest loans for Ethereum and actually just staking those. Uh, so in terms of rewards, 33 cents for Syndicate, 80 cents for Neo Gas, $5.24 for Metrics, 57 uh, cents for Pivx, $1.46 for Helix. Uh, that was before that, so that came in the first kind of week, 10 days. That was before I sold sold them all. Uh, and then Icon, $5.57, nothing for energy. Uh, we got rid of those coins along with Nav a few weeks ago. And uh, finally, our master node, so $3.72 for our two Horizon Secure nodes. Now, jumping onto the next uh, slide, we have our crypto uh, interest accounts here. So um, I've actually um, split out, so I've managed to split out um, basically pure interest and any referral bonuses, um, sort of sign up bonuses, anything like that from uh, BlockFi, from Crypto.com and from Celsius. So that's actually gonna be on the next slide. I've got like a, a miscellaneous kind of affiliate kind of income. Um, the last BlockFi uh, payout we got, which was the beginning of the previous month, um, was a lot larger than normal. And that wasn't down to interest. That was actually down to um, some referral bonuses. So um, first of all, Thanks very much for anybody who's actually signed up using my links. I know a number of people have signed up to uh, BlockFi and Celsius. I'm not sure about crypto.com, but uh, I've received some uh, referral payouts from uh, Celsius and BlockFi. Uh, so thanks very much. But uh, I wanted to take them out of this, which is more the pure kind of interest side of things. Um, and now going forward uh, in the next update, I'm actually going to be splitting uh, my Bitcoin and Ethereum loans with BlockFi out. So there'll be two separate loans. I've chosen to um, up to now, I've chosen to be paid out purely in Bitcoin, but I'll be actually paid out in the currency uh, that the loan's in. So I'll have Bitcoin and Ethereum being paid out in their respective currencies. So there'll be two lines for BlockFi. Um, Crypto.com, um, 
another change here. So we've got this additional uh, line here, and I'll talk through that in a second. But $173.70 uh, from our BlockFi uh, payout, first of the month. Uh, 43 cents for our MCO, Crypto.com MCO loan, $3.30 for the Ethereum loan on Crypto.com, $14.97 for the BTC loan, and our Celsius uh, BTC loan, uh, which we get paid out in Celsius, $21.68. And uh, now I just want to talk through this. So this is uh, Crypto.com, this is CRO, which is their sort of utility token, which was launched um, a fair few months ago now. Um, initially, it was kind of airdropped, airdropped to uh, MCO holders and um, has taken on a bit of a life of its own. It's currently up around 12, 13, 14 in uh, total market cap, in coin market cap. So it's had um, uh, a lot of utility and a lot of kind of usage. But um, basically, a few people have contacted me about the syndicate program on crypto.com. And this is something they do every couple of weeks. They pick a crypto, one of the large kind of um, high cap coins, and they sell it at 50% off. Um, um, now the caveat between that is that you have to be staking at least 10,000 CRO and um, according to how much you're staking basically um, allows you different amounts. So the more you stake in CRO, the, uh, the larger the kind of like uh, slice of the pie if it's oversubscribed you get of the crypto. Now the next one they'll be doing which I believe launches in four days is Cardano. Uh, so. I'm going to be doing a video um, probably in the next week on how the whole system works. I'll, I'll go into it in a little bit more detail now, but I bought 20,000 CRO. Now, 10,000 of those are on the exchange. This is not the crypto.com earn like these particular um, interest accounts. So this is actually on the desktop based exchange. You have to uh, stake 10,000 CRO in order to be eligible for syndicate and that's tied up for 180 days. So uh, the one that says EX here, uh, that's the uh, CRO tied up on the exchange um, and that pays simple interest. It gets paid out to your account every day. It's just under five and a half uh, CRO every day and these have been live for about a week now. So that's made me 32.9 uh, CRO which was $2.80. And the other 10,000 here is actually sat in a flexible um, loan. So I haven't tied it up for a set period because we'll be using these in order to purchase our Cardano, hopefully in four days time and future um, uh, syndicate um, offerings. So uh, 10,000 CRO. So I put 10,000 into the uh, stake and I've got 10,000 that I'm able then to buy. Um, whatever crypto becomes on sale. So uh, I've left these in a flexible loan, which means I can take them out anytime and move them over to the exchange. And that's made uh, 19.7 coins, $1.78. So uh, look out next week for the whole syndicate. I'll explain how you uh, go through it uh, step by step, and I'll show you the outcome of my first attempt to actually get some Cardano. Uh, I'm probably going to um, have an attempt probably for the next sort of three, four, five uh, goes and then maybe in about three months time I'll do a wrap up how easy it is to use uh, whether I think it's kind of worth actually kind of like uh, going down the road of buy, uh, the road of buying CRO staking it just in order to get it and, and how oversubscribed they are and how much we can actually uh, get of this 50% off crypto uh, but that's why I've got this new uh, CRO loan and sorry I missed this one out so the Celsius USDT uh, 3.1 coins uh, obviously tied to the dollar so three dollars and ten so a decent update and then we've got a final table now which as you can see here is referral revenues now I haven't backdated this to the um, uh, to the previous ones I can't do that but I have um, adjusted the total revenue so this has been taken out now of the individual um, crypto interest accounts like BlockFi, Celsius, uh, Crypto.com and this is the total uh, referral revenue, affiliate revenue, whatever you want to call it we've made uh, so far this year. Uh, in the last two weeks $45 Now that was uh, $20 from uh, Celsius so there was a couple of people that signed up to Celsius through my link thanks very much and also $25 from BlockFi. Uh, so if you um, if you are um, getting uh, your interest with BlockFi, if you have an account with them, reach out to their um, support people. Basically, after the marketing kind of hack where a lot of personal data uh, was removed, if you actually contact them, they give you uh, $25 of uh, Gemini USD. So it's well worth it just for a quick email to say, um, look, I hear other people are getting it. Please, can you uh, give me my $25? So that's uh, where the referral revenue this month. Um, this update has come from and then finally we've got our two um, advertising accounts so YouTube $27.81 library $17.45 so grand total this update of $329.73 
as I've mentioned um, a few times before, I've tidied up this table so it just includes the uh, updates uh, so far. So every other update so far has been um, one that covers the beginning of the month. So we've had our block fire uh, payouts. So that's why these are substantially larger. I've mentioned this a number of times. Now in two updates time, we won't be getting it because uh, we're doing updates every two weeks. Um, so basically that turns the year into a 48 week cycle rather than 52. So uh, one update at the end of June and one update at the end of December will go actually two low updates between our uh, monthly uh, figures, our first of the month kind of figures. Um, and the last thing I wanted to kind of mention very briefly, uh, I'll just show you this graph so this is a cumulative revenue graph so I'm trying to kind of uh, fit a trend line to this I think this will make a little bit more sense once we've had a couple of the low uh, updates the next couple of updates but um, an R squared value of over 0.9 which means it's a relatively good fit to the uh, graph so this is um, actually an exponential graph I think this will drop down substantially with the next couple of updates which should be somewhere around here rather than this big kind of jump every other one um, but I'm doing this cumulative one trying to fit a trend line to it and then finally uh, in our uh, interest accounts I'm actually going to be doing some um, new interest accounts with new provider there's a provider called Ledden and um, they're a Canadian based provider they offer um, very much like BlockFi and Celsius they offer uh, Bitcoin back loans uh, Bitcoin um, interest accounts as well as something called B2X so I'm actually going to be depositing I'm in the process of it at the moment but the thing I really like about it is uh, the fact you can actually um, check that the uh, crypto that you've actually deposited in your interest account uh, where it is where it's being held or oh, sorry for the loan account you can check uh, where it is where it's being held um, they have a collaboration with Genesis Capital that's where they give all the Bitcoin that goes into the savings account so um, a really interesting project um, I'm going to be investing in the next couple of days in Leaden so that'll appear in the next update and I will do a full update video just like I've done with BlockFi, Crypto.com and Celsius about the platform how it works uh, whether I recommend it etc 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 going forward so that's it for this update uh, apologies been a little bit longer than normal but the big kind of takeaways are we're going to be streamlining our staking coins we've got uh, lots more uh, stuff on the interest accounts so in addition to lead and uh, no doubt in the next couple of months I will be uh, incorporating also maybe cred earn and Nexo. a few people have been asking about that so I'll be doing reviews of those I've got the syndicate review going out so uh, whether it's worth uh, staking the CRO in order to get that 50% off crypto from crypto.com and uh, I probably have a video coming out about crypto.com's uh, additional services including the card uh, which I have received um, here in the UK so uh, that's it for uh, this update $329 grand total this year so far of $1774 and 42 cents uh, thanks very much uh, for watching as always I uh, hope you stay safe and well and hopefully I will see you on the next video if you can give me a thumbs up that would be fantastic it really helps uh, other people find the video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.